Ms. Transformers 96 here with another video review. This time of Transformers Supreme Devastator. Super, super excited for this review. This is just amazing. I'll talk about them later once I transform them. If you haven't already noticed, we are in a different spot for my reviews because my other spot, he's too big for that. So, uh, that's something to tell you when you can't do a review on a place because the toy is too big. This guy is just amazing. So, um,. Yeah, uh, let's just talk about this mixer for a second. Uh, the movie is Mixmaster. The toys do not transform into the Constructicons, just into the uh, Devastator pieces. Um, which is fine, because if they transformed into the regular ones, they'd look bad as Devastator. And Devastator should look amazing. So, um, this guy, he did talk whenever you picked him up, whenever you rolled him, whenever you did anything with him. Even when you weren't even touching him, he'd talk. So, I took out the batteries, just like most reviewers have. And they are very smart. When you get this guy, just, you know, open him, just... Just hear the voices just a little bit, and then just take out the batteries, because uh, you shouldn't have them in, they're horrible. But, um, to get transformed, uh, each, piece is, each piece is very easy to transform, but there's a lot of pieces, and um, they're massive. Oh, sorry, let me just uh, do a quick thing, just saying, um, Bond Hall and Rampage should be deluxe figures, um, uh, Scraper and Hightower should be Voyager, uh, Mixmaster should be Leader, and uh, 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 Scavenger, or Demolisher, however you say his name, should be um, just even bigger than Leader. Not as quite as big as uh, Supreme, though, because all of this is a Supreme figure. So, um, a little bit bigger than Leader, smaller than Supreme. So, um, it's just amazing. So let's get it transformed. Here is Rampage. Just kind of split the whole thing. Rotate the foot, move it back, and pop that in. Bam! We're done with that. First leg done, second leg, pop this in, move it up, and move this down. Second leg, and then the, uh, oh, this one's a little bit harder to transform, obviously easy, but just a little bit more than uh, the other two, the other legs. Just move this out, move the arms out, and the hands. There we go, for the other one. Split it, rotate it, move it back, move the tires up, and do it this way. There you go. This one, fairly simple. Open this up, and snap it in. It's a very hard thing to snap in, you just gotta use some pressure. Already see his wonderful face. And then, uh, move back to this one. Here we go. I just move this piece here. Uh, just untab these two. Okay, move it. Just click it in. Should click in. Uh, there we go. Nice big snap. There we go, two snaps. Okay, now. Move this in, give it another good snap, there you go, move this over, there you go, take this, rotate it down, there you have his chest piece. So uh, these are very hard to put together, let me just move it closer so I can get in closer, and uh, let's start putting it in, let me just move some stuff aside so that I can start. I'm gonna put the head in with the body first. Uh, you kind of just put it in. There's no real uh, kind of like place that you can see to snap it in. You just kind of have to put it in there and fidget with it for a little bit. Oh, there you go. Nice snapping in. And look at this massive head and body. Oh, amazing. And uh, now I want to do an arm. Let's do high tower. Let's just move the strapper to this side. And now, high tower. There's um, a little spot back here, and a spot in the arm. There's the spot in the arm. It's time to go. Snap it in. There you are. Okay. Very kind of difficult to snap in, and just kind of move it out, or you know, just whatever to get it in. 
move this aside. I can get in here. Ah, move it aside. Snap this guy in. Oh, there we go. Oof. And there is, there he is so far without his legs. So now to the legs. Okay, um, obviously, if you don't know uh, if Long Hall should go on the right or left, or if Rampage should go on the right or left, very easy. The peg's here, so this is obviously a right uh, foot. So, um, oh, just lift this massive, heavy figure up. There's a little peg right here, hard to see. But just, oh, there we go, put it in. Oh, there we go, laying down. Just, sorry, sorry if you can't see, he is just massive, so it's a little bit harder. Goes right here. And snap it in. Sorry, very hard to snap in. Oh, there we go. Oof. Now move this figure back. Stand him up. Move the arms in, just so you can see everything. And there you have Devastator. The best Transformer. Oh, sorry. Okay, hold on. Let's move this thing up here. Snap it in, snap it like that. And run this one, snap it in, snap it like that. Okay, now back to what I was saying. The best Transformer that they have ever made for any movie. I don't collect G1, so I uh, can't tell you if it's better than any G1 thing, but I'm sure it is, because this is um beyond amazing. They couldn't have made a better figure. I swear, he is the biggest Transformer I have ever seen, and uh, the best put together. There's one complaint, and that is the legs are very small. They look great, but um, stability, they can hold them up, but I'm always a little nervous, because I can't see how those little legs are holding them up, so I get a bit nervous because uh, I don't want them to uh, kind of, I don't want the legs to morph or get hurt or anything. Um, I bought this guy like a week after it was released, so I paid a hundred, and I'm worth it. It is overpriced, but it is worth it. Um, but nowadays, you um, they uh, at a couple months ago at a what is it? Sam's Club, they had a bunch of them for 80 bucks, so that's a $20 discount, quite nice, and now on eBay, you can c kind of find it for about 70 maybe 60 you know, and uh, he's just worth it. I don't care how much money you pay for this guy, he is worth it. He is amazing, 200 bucks worth it. Uh, I, I, he just still astounds me as I look at him. His face is amazing. When you press this button, oh, sorry. I guess the head isn't snapped in properly. There you go. When you push this button. Huh. It's having some trouble snapping in. There you go. Okay, now. When you move this back. Oh, I had him against the wall, so when I was doing that, it would pop him out. And now you can see how his face and his, uh, in his mouth, it would light up, and it would circle around and make sounds, and it was just amazing. I mean, gosh. This is the best figure you will ever find, better than anything you will ever see in any store of Transformer-wise. He is just amazing. Just, oh, you need to get this guy. The second that you find him, you need to get him just no matter what. Close out the screen, buy him on eBay right this second. Um, just amazing. Can't say enough good things about him. Uh, face has some green highlights, and some people have been painting red, and I actually don't like it. I think he, they did fine with the paint apps. Uh, just, oh, I can't say enough good things. Just amazing. By this guy, he is, uh, out of 10 stars, I give him 20, because he is just amazing. Buy him now. Sorry I've been repeating myself, but just amazing. Need to get him. Thanks for watching.